Okay, I want to make this video to show you how I installed a Runcam Split Mini onto a Babyhawk R. The first thing that you have to do anytime you touch anything with the Babyhawk R is install an isolation bed. This is what it looks like here. Because the way they built it, they literally have this capacitor almost touching. And if you tighten this down, these are rubber, so they'll squish down. And that's how you, most people blow up their baby hawk R, right there. So first thing you do, put this isolation bed in. And then use these 25 millimeter screws that come with the Runcam Split Mini. And it also comes with these spacers here. But the spacing in between the Baby Hawk R is a little different because it has an extra block. So I use a little, little plastic nut to add the additional spacer. Otherwise it comes out crooked. So you put it in and then the center connection is bigger than these so it can break it better to put the spacer on like that. You got the 25 millimeter screws in each corner. You got your isolation pad right there. And then I actually had to find some other 25 millimeter screws to connect this on the back. Oops, sorry. Jiggle the stand. Okay, so, yeah, so I, there we go again. All right, you connect it right on through there. I put some normal through threaded standoffs right there and you could actually put another one if you wanted to make that look nicer yeah, you know add up nuts and some spacers and stuff and make it look a little bit thicker but it all adds weight so uh, it's gonna work fine just like that and then putting the nut right here prevents it so when you crash it doesn't push down through it and then put stress on this and then I just did like a hot glue kind of a connection here which is now got some damage I've got to repair but I'm gonna redo that but uh, it flies great with this I've got other footage I'll post but that's the key to putting this in is that isolation bed if you don't do that you're gonna have a fire these baby hawk R's I've seen a number of cases as soon as you fly any moisture or you tighten that up or you decide you're gonna do any kind of work on it they burn up in fact I burnt my first one up so that's why this one looks like this thanks for watching YouTube have a great day